Hello everyone, Phoenix Knight here. Welcome to the channel. Tonight we've got a product unboxing for you, and normally I wait until I have at least two boxes to unbox, but this box just came in. I've been waiting on it for a couple of weeks now, and I'm still working on my Tack Up Wargaming list. In case you're wondering, this is actually the box that I've been waiting for from ID Jester, a recent subscriber to my channel. Link to his channel will be in the description down below. He's hoping I'll be able to pull something out from my Tack Up Wargaming list of 10 games to play this year. So, given that time is a little bit on the tight side for me tonight, let's say I shut up and let's find out what's in here, huh? We'll pull that off the knife. Okay, the tape job on here is not nearly as excessive as the one from that from Field Commander Rommel that I unboxed on the channel a couple weeks ago. I say that as I get into some craft tape here. Right, there we go. Go through that, and hopefully, okay. Um, yep, we're in there. Let's see what we've got. Oh my, I've got a lot of stuff in here from the looks of it, and. Yeah, looks like there's some stuff in here that I might be able to work with. Let's see what we've got. So, we've got Tank on Tank West Front from Lock and Load Publishing. Sorry, I don't have the drink that I can chug with it, but let's take a look here. Uh, welcome to the Fury of the West Front. So, okay, game that can be learned quickly and played in less than an hour. Tank on Tank West Front depicts deadly tactical ground combat in 1944 and 5 during World War II. Okay, yeah, looks like I can work with this. Looks like we've got on the East Front as well. Once again from Lock and Load Publishing. This must be on the Eastern Front. Yep, the Soviet Union. Figured as much. Let's see, we've got... The Devil's to Pay, first day at Gettysburg, from a company called Tiny Battle. Uh, depicting not only the actual events of the first day at Gettysburg, what could have happened on that fateful day. Um, this one seems like it was maybe re-shrank or something. Might be used, but maybe a little bit on the... Ah, designed by Herman Lutman. I've heard that, I've heard that name before. And then what's this last one in here? Okay, this one seems like it's a game called Metal Dawn, a strategic cooperative game of saving humanity from the machines. Sometime, well, we won't get into that, but from a company called Everything Epic. Let's see. In Metal Dawn, a rogue satellite military defense system called Dominus is an open revolt against its makers. Okay, this seems like it'd give me an interesting one to dig into. Let's see, this one's a 60 to 90, this one's 2 to 4 hours, I mean. 20 to 60, and 20 to 60 on the west front as well. So yeah, I've got plenty of stuff I can dig into, and I think I can probably pull a 10th game off of this list, but or off of what I've got here, but yeah, I think everything is ready, mostly ready for the list now, so... Hopefully I'll get that together and get that video up later this week, among a full slate of videos. So what I expect now to be the 200th video on the channel should be my Wednesday playthrough of Twilight Inscription. Then Friday we're going to have the, up the next upgrades video for the Winter Campaign, and then Sunday the Winter Campaign and Arkham Horror the card game will continue as we find ourselves in the city of the Elder Things. Thank you for watching the video. Please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Be sure to turn on notifications so you get my content. Be well, stay safe, take care of yourselves and your loved ones, and I'll be back with more videos in the future. Until then, take care everyone.